Today we are going to discuss the minimum number of teeth for pineal to avoid interference. So here is the figure. So this is the uh, arc corresponding to the base circle. This is the pitch circle and actual addendum circle and maximum value of addendum circle for the gear wheel. And here also you have got a base circle, pitch circle, actual addendum circle and the maximum value of addendum circle for the pinion and m n is actually the common tangent for both the base circles so what is actually the interference is it is actually the phenomenon when the tip of the tooth undercut the root on its mating gear and here you can see that this m and n are the interference points the value of maximum addendum will be equal to O2M for the gear wheel and O1N for the pinion. Okay, so here we are going to find determine this value of O1N first, and after that we will be arrive at the minimum number of teeth. So here T small t it is actually the number of teeth on the pinion. Capital T corresponds to the number of teeth on the gear wheel. M is the module of the teeth small r corresponds to the pitch circle radius of the pinion capital r corresponds to the pitch circle radius of the gear wheel g is the gear ratio which is equal to capital t by small t also equal to capital r by small r phi is the pressure angle or angle of obliquity so first of all we have to determine minimum number of teeth for pinion Okay, so we have to calculate actually this distance that means O1N. Okay, so from this triangle O1PN. Okay, so from the triangle O1PN, O1N square, okay, O1N square will be equal to O1P square plus PN square minus 2 times O1P into pn cos o1 pn that is the angle between the o1 p and pn okay so this angle so the value of o1 p o1 p this is actually the pitch circle radius of the pinion so that is actually this r and next is pn so you can see from this figure pn okay so here there is an angle phi is there and this much of radius is pitch circle radius of gear wheel and will be equal to capital R. So this distance Pn will be equal to R sin phi. Okay. So here Pn is equal to R sin phi. So the square of this Pn will be equal to R square sin square phi. So minus 2 times O1 P is R. Pn is R sin phi and cos O1 Pn that means this angle this angle o1 pn okay so actually this construction is like this this is o1 and this is m so from that there is a perpendicular line like this and this is inclined and here there is an angle of phi is there so what will be this angle this angle also will be equal to phi so total of this angle will be equal to 90 this is actually 90 and 90 plus phi okay so that is actually here okay that is actually the construction o1 m p n and o1 p n okay so here there is a 90 degree angle plus this angle will be equal to phi okay so hence cos 90 plus phi okay and the equation O1 in the whole square will become small r square plus capital R square sin square phi plus 2 times r into capital R sin square phi. That means cos 90 plus phi equal to sin phi. Okay. So after that, I am going to take this r square outside. Okay. So when I take this r square outside, the equation will become r square into 1 plus capital R square sin square phi divided by R square plus 2 times so this R this R and there will be an R square okay so that R square will cancel 
and the remaining r will be here and finally the equation will become r square into 1 plus capital R by r into so taking this sine square phi common so after that take this sine square phi common outside so next take capital R by small r sine square phi outside from these two terms okay so then the, then the equation will become small r square into 1 plus capital R by small r sine square phi into r plus so the term O1n will become O1n is equal to small r into root of 1 plus capital R by small r into r capital R by small r plus 2 sine square phi and what is this r r is equal to mt by 2 we know that module m is equal to d by t okay module is equal to d by t and d can be written as 2 times r divided by t so from this implies r is equal to m t by 2 okay when two gears mesh the module should be same okay so based on that m1 is equal to m2 that means two modules should be same of gear 1 and gear 2 okay so let d by small t is equal to capital d by capital t okay so this is equal to 2 r divided by small t is equal to 2 times capital r divided by capital t and which implies 2 2 cancel also, cancels off right so and I am taking this capital R to the left hand side and small t to the right hand side. Okay. So then the equation will become small r by capital R is equal to small t by capital T. Okay. So thus the equation came. Okay. So here I am going to replace this capital R by small r with capital T by small t. Okay. So thus the equation O1n is equal to mt by 2 into root of 1 plus capital T by small t into capital T by t plus 2 the whole into sine square phi. So next what is actually the addendum? This is the radius and this is the maximum value of addendum circle and the distance O1 P minus O1 N will give you the addendum value. Okay. O1 P minus O1 N will give you the addendum value. And the addendum of a pinion is given by AP into M. That means addendum is given by AP into M. Where AP is a fraction by which the standard addendum of one module for the pinion is multiplied in order to avoid interference. So from that AP M is equal to where M is the module. Okay, M is the module. And AP is the addendum fraction. So APM is equal to O1N minus O1P. Okay. So we have already calculated this value of O1N. So it will be equal to MT by 2 into root of 1 plus capital T by small t into capital T by small t plus 2 sine square phi minus O1P. O1P is equal to O1P. O1P it is actually the smaller value of on p is equal to small r. So already we have discussed how this uh, small r can be replaced with mt by 2. So the value of on p will be equal to mt by 2. Okay. So taking this mt by 2 common, uh, the equation will again will become root of 1 plus capital T by small t into capital T by small t plus 2 sine square phi minus 1. So in the next step, we are cancelling this module. So the m and m cancels off and finally the addendum fraction will remain and uh, so what we have to find is actually the minimum number of t that means the small t okay small t and the small t value will be given as t is equal to 2 times ap divided by root of 1 plus capital t by small t into capital t divided by small t plus 2 sine square phi minus 1 which is equal to 2 ap divided by 1 plus capital g that means the gear ratio so here g is the gear ratio into g plus 2 into sine square phi minus 1 okay so this is the condition for minimum number of teeth for pinion in order to avoid interference similarly 
we can write the minimum number of teeth for gear wheel in order to avoid interference so that means capital T so capital T will be equal to 2 times a w so a random fraction for the gear wheel okay and will be equal uh, divided by root of the only difference is 1 plus 1 by g okay into 1 by g plus 2 sine square phi minus 1 so this is the only difference between this uh, minimum number of teeth for pinion and minimum number of teeth for gear in order to avoid interference so you can see that in terms in place of g here 1 by g is there and that will be the value of minimum number of teeth for pinion and gear wheel so thank you